In today's video, we're gonna talk about a critical component every Harley owner needs to change out so you don't end up stranded like many of us here have been. Let's dive in. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. I always thank you, that's right, you, for checking back in. So today we're gonna to talk about getting rid of your stock shifter linkage, which is a weak point we all know. Even the brand new Harleys, yes, it is a weak point. Now, we've done videos on this channel before, but we sell Kiriakin shift linkage, which we recommend right in the Law Abiding Biker Store. Of course, I'll link to it in the description below. But Kiriakin has made some slight engineering changes to the shifter linkage we sell. So update video, we're gonna show you what they've changed. And why Harley hasn't changed this, we're not sure to date, but these stock ones, you'll see they're made of like a cheap type metal. And basically, it's a pressed on ball joint, so to speak and they just get weak over time. It is not a matter of if it's gonna break, it's just when it's gonna break. And of course, it's always when you're out in the middle of nowhere. And while we're up here, we'll talk about another weak point, and that is your actual shifter shaft, uh, the shaft that the front arm connects to. Now we've done a video on that for you, and I'll actually pop a card, link in the description below. You should look at that and also making sure that this is tight back here. But again, link description below. And in just a moment, we're actually gonna take the stock linkage off this bike here and we're gonna replace it with the new Kiriakin linkage. But I wanna talk a little bit about the changes that have been made. And again, just real quick, if you appreciate this channel and all the free videos we put out, you wanna support us, I will link to the linkage that I'm talking about in the description below. You can get it right from the Law Abiding Biker Store and we definitely appreciate your support. So I'm gonna show you the original Kiriakin linkage, which is solid. We sold this one for a long time in our store and I was actually running this on a bike this bike, we only took it off for this video, so uh, I haven't had any problems with it. Let me show you what it looked like and then show you the small variations. So this is the original Kiriakin linkage, which is super strong. We sold it for a long time. We had zero problems with it, but I just wanna show you what it looks like and so you can see the small changes. Now you can see the back arm, uh, this was for the rear of the motorcycle. This actually was a separate bolt and that just bolts into the arm and you can see both front and back right here we've got really solid heim joints which the stock linkage does not have and this is the fail point on the stock linkage because it doesn't have this this keeps it from from doing that and this is just a lot better metal it's super strong you'll feel it when you lift it up when you come to the front it actually had a uh, kind of an acorn nut here hope you can see that well and then it had a bolt too. So they were kind of separate parts, but again, just a heim joint up front there. So let me show you um, the changes that they've made. This is the new version, re-engineered Kiriakin linkage. Again, sell this in our store. We've got a bunch of guys running it and uh, they're just loving it. But you can see it's all one unit now. So they've basically, uh, it's still got the bolts and this would be the rear. It would screw right into the arm and you can see because it's in a heim joint, it actually turns. We're gonna install this for you in a minute. And then on the front, it's also got the bolt. But you can see, and, and the nut, of course, it's got a, a nylon nut there, so it locks. And it still has the heim joints. But you can see they've actually pressed the bolt into the linkage, so it's all just one solid unit. It feels the same, it's still got the adjusters, but again, they've just changed that. And if you look up in here, they've actually put somewhat of a plastic cap. But if I pull it back, you can actually see in there, it is the heim joint in there, but I would just assume this is like a dust cap to keep some of the dust and grime out of there. But again, in our store and the guys that are running them are loving them and I will tell you uh, that this is just as good, if not better than the last version that they had. So this is what you'll get if you order it from our store. Let's get this thing installed. And real quick, before we get installing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon every time those are hit. Another biker joins the revolution. We would love to have you be part of it. Okay, so we're gonna get the stock linkage off here. This is the stock Hardy linkage. On the front there, he's got a 7 16 inch wrench and on the back to hold it, he's got a half inch. And he's just holding the nut on the back basically and turning the bolt there that is attached to the linkage. And now he can just finish off uh, with his thumbs there, getting it off there. And again, it's that nut that comes off the back. And there is a washer on there too. And now he can pull that stud right through like that. And that releases it from the front shifter arm. Okay, so we're moving to the rear shifter arm there that goes into your transmission. That's a 7 16 wrench. 
And this one doesn't have a nut on the back side. It is just a stud and it goes directly into the shifter arm. And you'll want to be aware because there is a washer on the back of this, you'll see on many of the touring models. Some of your other models may not have the washer, but this one does. All right, now he's just going to use his hands to back that out the rest of the way. All right, once you have the stud out there from the shifter linkage, there's just a cover that goes over the rear shifter arm there. That's where that washer or spacer is, and it'll turn that around. And so that's the washer you just wanna make sure you retain. All right, so now we need to adjust it so that the new linkage is the correct distance between front shifter arm and rear shifter arm. And that's very easy to do. You can see as is old stock Harley linkage, the uh, really weak stuff that breaks there, um, set next to our new Kiriakin linkage. And all he's gonna do is it's got collars on both ends and you can just uh, turn that linkage out and just match it up. Get it as close as you can. If it was off just a hair, it's gonna be fine, but just get it as close as you can. And real quick, we'll get right back into your video. If you appreciate all the free content we put out to help as many bikers as we can worldwide, you can support us by becoming a Patreon member. Link in the description below. There are benefits for doing so, such as t-shirts and stickers, access to the private Facebook group, access to live video broadcasts and chat, premium videos and access to those ride, meetup, and events. We appreciate you considering supporting us. All right, so for now, he's just gonna, with his fingers, just slightly snug the collar down on that side, and then of course the collar on this side. We'll tighten these down with a wrench after it's on the bike because we want a little bit of play so that we can uh, align our studs just right. So we're ready to install the front of the new Kiriakin linkage. Now the one he has in his hand is the stock. Uh, we just want to show you on this particular bike, you can see the studs from the stock linkage go from the front to the rear of the shifter arms. Uh, now some bikes, uh, you may find some models, I should say, it may be stock where the heim joint and all that, or the linkage is on the back, and you may have an acorn nut on the front, even though the rear stud will go in from front to rear. Um, so the linkage kind of crosses a little bit, that's normal. And your bike may be that way. Bottom line being, at the end of the day, it's kind of up to you and kind of look at your stock configuration and see how they have it. That may dictate what you do. In this case, the new Kiriakin linkage that we're looking at here on this particular bike, we didn't have a beautiful acorn nut with our stock one. So we wouldn't be able to put that on the outside to look at pretty. So if he spins that around and you can see he spins it around that way and he would actually go on the back side of that and get it in. Now you can see that would be very difficult on this bike just because of the way the motor is and how it sits. And we would have a big ugly stud hanging out with a simple you know, lock nut. It just wouldn't be a great look. And again, for this bike, that's not how it came off stock. So we're just gonna go in just like we took the stock stuff on, um, but just be aware, there are a lot of bikes where it's opposite and that's okay. Um, you decide kind of how you want it to be set up. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and tighten the front down now. And on the front there, that is an 11 millimeter wrench. It fits a little snugger than a 7 16 So he can go ahead and screw that in and on the back, he's holding the nut with a half inch wrench. And it's quite a long stud, so it can take a few cranks to get it all the way in there. And just be aware, the rear threads had some Loctite on them, um, and uh, so you can put some of that, it comes with it. But also the front, we don't need it because we're actually putting a lock nut on the back. All right, so remember at the very end, we need to uh, tighten our jam nuts here. That adjusts the linkage. He's got an 11 millimeter wrench there and a 13. And on both front and back, he's just gonna jam those in opposite directions. That makes uh, sure it doesn't adjust on you or loosen up and he'll move to the back and he'll do the same thing here on the rear. There we go and just turn in opposite directions again. And it never hurts to check those jam nuts periodically as they can loosen up over time. Your journey's not done here on the channel. I'm popping a couple videos on the screen for you. Hopefully something useful or entertaining. Heck, maybe both. Check them out. Thanks for watching.